best golds in Madden 16 right now to build a budget baller offense. Keep in mind these cards are at least all under 10k. Good price for a lot of good starter cards. Shoelace, Denard Robinson at QB, a new OOP player, goes for about 8k. Absolute best scrambling QB and running QB. I like him a lot. He also throws pretty well. So this is a good starter card. If you want to get pricey, we're going to jump into this Johnny Manziel. This card right here does go for a lot more. This was the preseason hype train about Johnny Manziel. It goes for about 14K. Very good scrambling QB as well. But honestly, I would stay budget and go with Robinson for 8K. Robinson is also a better run if you like to scramble in Madden. Tannehill goes for about 3K. So it's basically free, honestly. And he's a very good pocket passer. Not a bad run. He's not the fastest running quarterback, but he'll get the job done. So I choose between these three for a pure budget team of gold quarterbacks. Just been released as that campus hero, CJ Spiller, but you can get the budget version for a much cheaper price. You got 96 agility, 94 excel, 94 speed. That means he will get to his top end speed very quickly. This card goes for about 8K and it's also a very good pass catching back. He is one you want to run tosses with. I did not include Dre Archer because we're just looking at golds here. Probably the quickest, most elusive gold card you can get is CJ. Next, we got Carlos Williams, who also goes for about 8K. The thing with this card is it's very fast, 92 speed, 92 excel, but also it's a very powerful back with 95 truck and 95 stiff arm, 90 carry. This back will always fall forward, and he's a very good card. I'd run CJ and Carlos as a power and a speed back. The budget option is Duke Johnson, who you can get for about 1,000. He's very elusive, very agile, and he has 96 juke, 93 elusive, 94 speed, 93 excel. So he's very quick. He's kind of like CJ Spiller, more of a budget version of CJ Spiller. A very good back, and also a good third down back because he can catch the ball pretty well. Cardinals receiver, Michael Floyd just had a card released to 89, this absolute animal, but on a budget, we're going to get this card for 7k. His catching stats are very good, 94 spec, 91 catching traffic, 92 release, and also, he's at 89 speed. He is a very good run blocker as well, if you like to run tosses, he'll be able to get CJ Spiller, or Drew Johnson open, or Drew Archer if you like a silver. 84 RTTP, Jordan Matthews is a very good rat card, he does very well on drags and slants, and does well with his 94 acceleration and 92 speed, he does catch the ball very well, he has a 93 catch in traffic, he's a good number two, and also you can run him in a slot. Also, his 71 strength is pretty good. He's not the worst run blocker in the league. So if you want to run, make sure you run to Floyd's side. And also, Alshon Jeffrey didn't include him here. He's also a good run blocker. Next, we're going to move to our number three, which is going to be J.J. Nelson. Surprisingly, this card goes for about 20K right now on the PS4 with his 96 speed and 96 excel, which means he hit his top end speed very quickly. Also, 94 agility, 94 juke. Basically, he's an animal. Very good returner as well. You're paying for the speed at a premium price, but... He's a very good card. I'd try him out if you get the chance. The base Mike Evans I included at the 4, but you can put up the 1 and 2 depending on your style. He is a very good receiver. 95 release, 93 spec, 92 catch in traffic means he'll get open all the time and he does well against the press, which is huge. 6-4, he definitely throw bombs to him and his team of the week card is absolute beast. Probably goes about 100 now. Very good card as well. And finally, one of the best rack gold cards is Tavon Austin. Goes for about 1,500. I want to include the Oop Tavon Austin halfback, but that card was too pricey for this video. He has 95 speed, 98 agility, and his spin and elusive miss are both 94. So basically, he's one of the best user cards. He feels really good, and he has really nice jukes. Also doubles as a kick returner, so he's such a good investment for 1,500. You could also run in the slot. Team of the week, Eifert goes for about 5K. Very good pass catching shot, as well as a decent blocker. He has 85 seeds, so not going to dust by, but he is a good option. I didn't include the run blocking tight ends, but that would be the Ben Hartsock from Tennessee, who goes for about 2K. Next, we're going to talk about Ladarius Green. 92 speed, basically the fastest tight end you can get at a price. This card goes for about 3K, and you wouldn't want him as a starter because he can't block to save his life, but he is a very good run after the catch tight end. He burns so many linebackers with the 92 speed, and also 94 excel. He gets that top end speed very quickly. Most feared William Beatty goes for about 4K. Very good pass blocking stats on the 90s, run blocking in the high 80s. If you don't like him, you can go with Teron Armstead, who goes for about 2200. And the crazy thing about him is he has 83 speed, so it is very well on tosses. Or if you run right off him, he gets blocks downfield. The RTTP, Andrew Norwell, is more of a run blocker than a pass blocker, but he only goes for about 2500 which is a very solid price for a starting left guard. If you'd like to spend a little bit more, you can get this Football Outsider Gabe Jackson for about 5,500. Very good run blocking, 95 run block strength, and 93 pass block, so he's one of the best at that position. And just costs a little bit more. Definitely get him if you could afford him. At center, Hironis Grassu is more of a pass blocker than a run blocker. Goes for about 2,200. Very good card. Football Outsiders edition. 
Mitch Morse is a pricier option, goes for about 5,500, but is a very good pass blocker and also has the 97 strength. So you could run right up the gut with him with one of these fullbacks or also with one of the halfbacks. Richie Incognito goes for about 5K. Very good pass and run blocker. Also has 90 impact block. Alex Boone is a cheaper option for about 2,800 and is a very good run blocker with 97 run block strength and 93 impact block. Eagles tackle Lane Johnson goes for about 7k but does have 80 speed so does very well with the tosses and if you like to run right off your tackle. A more budget option is TJ Clemmings who goes for about 3k and is definitely a better run blocker than a pass blocker. We also do have two fullbacks, Roosevelt Nix and Patty DeMarco, both RTTP additions, go for about 5 to 6k each, very good run blocking and also could run the fullback dive. Simply put, these are the best gold cards right now in Madden. If you're just starting out, you want to try to get some of these guys on your squad because they make huge plays and they are very good value, very good budget cards for your team. I actually had some of these cards for a while in some of the divisions and they work very well if you're trying to grind solos. That wraps up this video. Once again, if you have any other players that weren't mentioned here, leave them in the comments below. If this was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you liked it, subscribe. If not, that's cool as well. Thank you for watching, and next I'm probably going to have the defensive players, the best goal defensive players you can get. But anyways, that's about it. Thanks for watching again, and we're out. Show us the love, show us the hate.